Hello, my name's Kelly Buxy and I'm one of the clinical trainers working for Medi UK. Today I'm here with you in the Legs Matters Lounge to share with you a secret to successful compression application. I hope today through this presentation I can empower you all to ensure you can successfully apply, remove and reapply your medical hosiery compression. So this becomes part of your daily routine with no concerns, worries, to help you manage and treat your lower limb concern or condition that you may have. If you have any questions, there'll be an opportunity to ask them at the end of this presentation. So please sit back, relax and enjoy. During this presentation, I'll be discussing the secret behind compression application and what this means to you. We will then move on to what is needed to make application easy for you or those who may be supporting you. I'll be sharing with you a number of donning and doffing aids that may be suitable for you to make your life easier. And finally, I'll be finishing with a sh sh few short real life videos of the secret in action and the impact that this has on one's life. Throughout this presentation, there will be a number of tips on self-care and or supportive self-care for you to manage your condition that you may take away with you today. So what is the secret? The education and the support that you receive is truly the key to success and potentially the secret discussed today. Learning and education is a process that we all encounter imparting knowledge and skills to achieve the ability to successfully reach your desired outcome is achieved by following this process. Learning, education and increasing one's knowledge can be carried out in a number of ways and can be delivered in a simple form of just communicating to one another. However, an ideal way of teaching application of your medical hose recompression is the hands-on approach and teaching you the practical skill, showing you how to don and doff in real life. The most important element of the education, knowledge and skill being taught is to ensure the person learning, so you, has successfully acquired the new knowledge and gained an understanding in that subject matter. It is essential that the person delivering the education, so potentially your healthcare professional or the person supporting you, checks in with you, checks on your progress, evaluates your progress and makes adjustments along the way if required. Learning and education is not new and is a way of life that supports our growth. And we actually start learning from the minute we are born. This philosophy or theory can and could be applied to the process you are required to go through when learning to apply your medical compression hosiery, enabling you to successfully manage your lower limb concern effectively. It may not be quick and easy to learn and you may require support to achieve the end result and succeed over a period of time to master the new skill. But practice makes perfect. So what is needed? As discussed, the key is to ensure you are well educated and provided with an opportunity to learn the new skill. Another element is being involved and informed at all times. This is required from the outset to ensure effective management is maintained for your lower limb concern because these are your legs and they really do matter. So what does the why mean? As discussed, you'll need to be educated why you are required to wear your medical compression hosiery every day and most likely for the rest of your life, because this will enable you to understand your lower limb concern, make the right choices for your own health needs and manage your lower limb concern effectively. The how, you need to be informed how the medical compression hosiery will improve your lower limb condition and how important it is wearing them. You'll need to be provided with the correct education, knowledge and support to gain this understanding, especially if this is a new diagnosis for you. 
Alongside this, you'll need to be given time and practical support to ensure you can apply and remove your medical compression hosiery to ensure you or the person supporting you can effectively manage your lower limb concern. You will, support, you will be supported to make the right choice for your own health and well-being and again allow you un to understand the importance of wearing your medical compression hosiery to avoid any complications or deterioration in your lower limb con condition. Then we move on to the what. What you need to know. What is going on? What is going to happen to you? Being well informed about the journey that you are likely to go on allows you to take ownership, become involved and in control to self-manage with the support from your healthcare professionals. This journey needs to be described to you, empowering you to be involved at every step of the way. Knowing what you can do independently and if you're not able to do it independently, allowing yourself time to identify what support you will need to manage your condition. This is a crucial element to the journey because not everyone can independently self-manage and may require supportive self-care at certain steps of this journey, which is absolutely acceptable and you should not feel disheartened or disappointed by this. Be proud of yourself that you can identify what is needed to support you in your journey to success. And then finally, the ability. Having the ability to understand all of this is another secret to success. Being well informed at every step of the way is essential. Having the ability to learn and receive the education on the subject matter is crucial. Being provided with all the information essential to the long-term management of your lower limb concern. By identifying your needs and knowing what you need enables your journey to success, becoming more achievable and less worrying. Being informed and knowing what is available to you to manage your concern requires an open and honest relationship between you and your healthcare professional, or perhaps the person supporting you to self-manage. This identifies the importance of good communication between all those involved and enables a successful, personalised, centred care plan to be implemented and drawn up so you can manage and be in control of your lower limb concern now and in the future. Therefore, being well educated, informed and equipped with the right aids to self-care or receive supportive self-care is a significant part of a successful lower limb journey. So there is a preconceived idea that medical compression hosiery will be difficult to apply and remove. However, there are easy ways, techniques and aids available to assist you with the application of your compression hosiery. Donning and doffing aids make struggling with compression a thing of the past. I said I would provide you with the secret and here are more of them. And this means informing you about the aids available so you can successfully manage your condition and make life easy for you or the person who is providing that supportive self-care to you when it comes to applying and removing your medical compression hosiery. So if you are finding donning and doffing difficult, removing or reapplying your hosiery, ensure you ask your healthcare professional about the aids that are available to you. Here are a few aids that may be your secret key. All are easy and simple to use. However, only once you've been shown and know how to use each aid. Highlighting the importance, as discussed before, on the education and support that you will require to enable you to successfully don and doff your medical compression hosiery. And then you will be required to practice, practice, practice. And this will encompass the support from your healthcare professional or that person who is offering you support. To ensure you can walk away knowing donning and doffing will not be your struggle I want to share with you an example of the donning aid being used in real life. 
providing education and training to a particular lady who identified herself that she would not be able to independently apply her own medical compression hosiery due to her dexterity issues in her hands. Therefore, a training session was set up to show her the use of the donning aid to enable her to effectively self-manage and apply her own hosiery daily. It's important that you are provided with a practical training session so you can see the process in action and practice yourself using the aid to see if this is the right aid for you to apply your compression stockings. It will take you time to learn this new skill and practice again makes perfect. To apply your medical compression hosiery to the donning aid, it's ideal, it's, it will be ideal if you stand your donning aid on a firm surface and ideally at hip height. This will allow you to slide your hosiery down the aid easily. You will need to learn how far the hosiery needs to go and the correct position of the heel to ensure you can successfully apply your medical compression hosiery. Here it is in action. So remember, frame to your belly, heel at the back, heel has got back yeah. and then you just roll it down yeah. until you get to the heel. And always remember your seat will be down the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, this is so down, sit down, and I'll just hold that and put your foot For you, we're going to sit you down. Yeah. A very simple and effective way to teach your patient how they could use an aid to apply their medical compression hosiery. Being able to don and doff your medical compression hosiery is essential to enable you to self-manage your condition now and in the future. Please don't accept that struggling to don and doff is just one of those things because it's not. You deserve to be taught shown and supported to use donning and doffing aids that are right for you. Ask for the support if you're struggling. Ask as many questions to enable yourself to become, become confident in donning and doffing your medical compression hosiery and keep practicing. Here is an example of the compression hosiery being doffed in action. And finally, offering the practical support to don the hosiery. Assessing the actual donning and doffing process is essential to ensure self-care or supportive self-care can be maintained. If you require more support, then you need to identify this need. It may take a while, but as they say, practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. This is the success to self-care or supportive self-care. Mastering and understanding the skill equals successful application. I'm sure you can see the joy on this lady's face after she successfully donned her own medical compression hosiery. This means she can now effectively manage her own condition and we have one happy lady right there.
I would like to finish and provide you with a quote, a quote that highlights to me how important our body is. Please remember to take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Thank you for listening to this short presentation. I hope I have raised your awareness today and provided you with some potential alternative options for donning and doffing your medical compression hosiery. Remember, you do not have to struggle. Please ask your healthcare professional what aids there are available to you and ask for the support, the education and the knowledge to be able to gain that skill to effectively apply your medical compression hosiery. Thank you.